What's up, fam? Good morning and welcome to our disaster of a house. We are in transition mode right now. I am between unpacking from camping and packing for the trip that we have next week and also getting trying to get everything ready for school. So it's fine, everything's fine. Life is extremely fast paced right now, but you know what? I love it. I love having things be so busy and yeah it's stressful but like i don't know i've always just loved being busy staying busy here's a little true honest look into our life right now i've got things that i'm ordering for this week i got new luggage that i ordered that's chris's drone from when we were camping that he actually never used some shirts for lilia new cat food my purse is there i don't know why i've got a toaster i'm gonna pack that it's upside down it's probably making a mess mail because we've been gone look at this this is our mail from us being gone for the last like two weeks and then we're leaving again next week. Adulting can wait, right? This video is sponsored by CVS. I'll get there in a little bit. I actually need to go shop there desperately. So I'm getting ready to go do that. Chris just took the kids all to the park. I want to run like 14 different errands today and I don't think that's realistic. That's probably not gonna happen, especially since it's not morning anymore. It's already afternoon, but I have had a surprisingly productive day. I've got a lot of work done this morning because I am leaving for the next week i got a lot of things out of the way i got a lot of editing done so i'm patting myself on the back stop number one i'm getting my car washed finally i tried getting my car washed yesterday but for some reason it was down i actually came to a different i like have a membership at a place and i don't know i just my car is like so dusty and dirty i know it's not gonna get off this stuff but I want it to like be cleaned of dirt before I try to officially get the freaking marker off of my window that has been there since May. I hope you guys can hear me. Quick quack, she was taking the bath. Does anyone else have an irrational fear of like a window breaking during a car wash? Like, has that happened before? I'm always afraid that afraid that I like I'm gonna like leave something just like I have a moon roof and I'm, gonna, I'm afraid I'm just gonna like leave it a little bit open and then I don't know it's just gonna be like a rainy it's gonna be like wet Florida weather in my car as expected the marker did not come off but I've tried that several times and I know it's not working I'll tell you what chalkboard marker works really well really well so well that it doesn't come off in a car wash. I have a life hack for you guys, especially when it comes to back to school. Shop at CVS, hear me out. Anytime I go other places and I do my last back to school shopping, places run out of inventory fast. CVS has actually become like a one stop shop for me in terms of back to school shopping. Things like snacks, back to school products, hygiene products, and it's a necessity this year because the kids are headed back to school in person full time. I'm so excited, but I'm also nervous. It has been well over a year, over a year and a half since my kids have been back to school in person full time. I know there's some other places who have like been back to school in person, but are, well, just like where I live, I guess, they haven't been back to school full time yet at all, not since the beginning of the pandemic. So this is going to be the first somewhat normal school year for my kids. I'm half excited, half nervous. They're mostly, they seem to be just mostly like 100% excited, but CVS, believe it or not, they have a really good assortment of things to pick from. Plus it's really convenient to stop here. I feel like they're kind of on every corner. I wanted to share a couple of the things that I got with you guys. I love hauls when people buy things. I love hearing like, like what people have to say and what things they like. And actually, if you shop at CVS, extra care members will receive $10 in extra bucks when they spend $40 on qualifying back to school products. CVS is also donating $1 to local boys and girls clubs for every qualifying P&G item purchased for up to $300,000. I actually got quite a few qualifying P&G products in here. Let me see what I got. I got puffs. The new school year often comes hand in hand with runny noses, cold, such like that. So I like to keep stocked on those. I just stocked up on shampoo and conditioner. These are also PNG products that qualify my Olay body wash. I've got the conditioner for this as well. Put that anywhere, Jess. But for those extra care members, you don't wanna miss out on this deal. It's now through August 28th, I believe. A few of the qualifying products that I get. Mind you, this is all stuff that I buy anyway, but if you are an extra care member and you spend $40, you get that $10 in extra bucks. Things like these Crayola crayons. I just got a bunch of these. I know that they're gonna need these regardless. I got one of the mini detanglers. This brush, I swear by. 
anybody who has a daughter or a son or hair on your head, you need this brush, especially if you have a daughter or son that has thick hair. Like this is the only brush I can use on Lilia. So I got some little ones. I'm actually, I actually got this for her. That way she could keep it in her backpack in case she wants it. Also, this is my kid's favorite toothpaste. Here, the Colgate. I got the Minion one, so cute. And then I just got a bunch of these notebooks as well. I actually got quite a few things in here. Some pens, some mouthwash. The kids are so excited to go back and see their friends. How are you guys feeling? Is anybody else nervous about their kids going back to school? Like I know that I have waited for this moment for a year and a half, but at the same time, I'm just like, can we slow down a little bit? Let me know what you other parents are excited about as far as your kids going back to school or like your students. What, what is everyone excited for? And also, when does your kid's school start? I feel like everybody's start times are so different. It seems like other countries, their kids don't start school until well into September. And here it's always like beginning of August. So I'm done with CVS. I'm so excited to be working with CVS pharmacy for the sponsored post and as usual all opinions reflected on these brands and these products are all of my own so I'm going to move on I need to get gas that's next up on the list of things to do update I ended up going home first I actually changed my shirt because I spilled something on it I picked up a couple hooligans Ow. My, foot. my mom just got back to the house and so I gave the kids the option of coming with us to the mall or staying home. The only one who's not home is Lilia. She is at her aunt's house, Gabe's sister's house. So she'll be back later tonight. I actually called her to ask her if she wanted to go to the Disney store and she said no. Who even is she? She has a lot of fun though when she goes to her auntie's house and her grandma's there. So the only one who wanted to come was this one. Ha huh, sister. So we're gonna head off to the mall. The only reason I really wanna go there is to go to the Disney store because as you guys know, we will be in Disneyland for a couple days this week and I just, I need my fix. Not interested. How did he do? He did pretty good. She vlogged it. Go yes, watch it. Go watch it on her channel. He was. He didn't cry. Where'd you take him? To Vanessa. Yeah, Vanessa's the best. The boys got a haircut yesterday. There. Man, I like you look like a little man. He's uninterested, but he actually really loves me. Don't you? Huh? We're buddies. He's gonna act like we're not buddies, but we're buddies. He's like, lady, stop it. If you can't tell, we are. And it is Sunday, which means podcast. You look like trash. You do not ever look like trash. Don't you put yourself down like that woman. Love yourself. We're making spaghetti for dinner. What? I hate spaghetti. You hate spaghetti? It's a good thing I'm making spaghetti. Spaghetti. Kyson's the only one that fights me on this meal. Would you guys judge me if I put a face mask on while we were doing our podcast? Nope. <laughs> wow, rude. We're not video recording it yet, so you can get away with it. After True. This is what our Sunday evening tend to look like at the moment. I am breaking out so bad my face. Like, I don't know what is going on. I'm also ovulating, I'm pretty sure, and that always makes me break out bad. Like, a lot of people break out bad when Aunt Flo comes to visit, but I'm like the opposite. I break out when I ovulate, and it doesn't help that I like pick at everything. Look at this, oh my gosh. I'm gonna disappear off the of camera. Can you talk about mom shaming? Mom shaming is a good one. We're trying to figure out our topic for our podcast tonight. Or listen to our podcast. Fantastic Four is available on all of your podcasting platforms. Except for Apple's and so yeah. Except Apple. We don't like Apple right now. Apple's been giving us issues. Well, no, they haven't been giving us issues. First, we just, there's some kind of glitch or something. We're trying to figure it out. These patches are like the best thing that have ever happened to me. These are like blemish shrinking salicylic acid dots. How do you say that word? Why is it empty? I need one. Wow, we're being so productive. <laughs> Amber's ready. Poor Amber. She always sits in the corner of the room that has stuff by it. Like this is all stuff that I'm wanting to. <laughs> I'm gonna pack for a trip. I need to pack it tonight. We'll see how that goes. And then we've got thing one and thing two over here. Well, thing one and thing three over here. The next day, and we are 
packing. We're actually leaving today for the family reunion memorial type of thing. But I have made a decision and I was going back and forth on this a lot. I was trying to figure out how I felt about it, what to do, I don't know. You guys know I film everything, like everything, all of our trips. So we are packing and getting ready to go. We need to leave in exactly one hour. And I have made a decision on something and this is something that I, I don't think anyone really cares except me at least as much as I do people all the time are just like you know take a break it's okay you don't have to vlog everything but I love it I love my job I love capturing all these moments and my whole family actually is really supportive of what I do however this upcoming week is going to be very special to us like I said my entire family is coming it's like a family reunion basically and we're doing a bunch of things together and I think what I decided to do is to try to put down the camera less and not actually vlog because there's a difference between filming family memories and then like vlogging for you guys like talking to the camera and doing that kind of stuff which I love doing but after just I don't know thinking about how this week is gonna go I really truly want to spend as much time with my family as possible so I think what I'm gonna do is just vlog a little bit here and there film a little bit here and there but I don't think I'm going to necessarily like vlog every day so obviously this could change but that's my thought as as of this moment we're all meeting in Disney together we're gonna do Disney for a few days and then we're gonna go over to Newport Dunes which that's where actually the memorial service is going to be held if you guys are longtime viewers then you might know this but Grammy's favorite place in the whole wide world was Southern California and actually when she got diagnosed with cancer her very last trip that we all did together as a family you could go back I'll like link these videos because they're very special to my heart but I did the same thing I just I vlogged but just a little bit you know we all went down to Southern California we did Disney together we did Universal Studios together which is where she used to work we like kind of took a walk down memory lane in Southern California so we're kind of redoing that trip as a whole family like my uncle from New York's coming all my aunts my uncles cousins everybody's going down and meeting there and honor of Grammy I guess you could say and then on Saturday we're having her actual service so I'm sure you guys understand but I think I'm gonna kind of put down the camera a little bit this week and I might vlog here and there I will still be filming a little bit just because I can't I can't not film I genuinely love doing it and I do it for myself and I do it for my family I love what I do but I am going to bring it down a few notches so I'll still have a little bit of content here and there from the trip but we're going to pack and then we're gonna head out it won't make any difference for you guys because I think by the time this video is posted it's already gonna be next week they probably won't even be a gap in my posting schedule I edited, edited till four in the morning last night to make sure I have videos for you going up this entire week while I'm gone but make sure you are following me on Instagram I by the time I post this you might have missed but I do post things exclusively to Instagram and I think this trip is gonna be one of them so make sure you're following me there so this is how our packing is going at the moment I ordered new luggage funny story on our last trip the wheel oh wait what, what happened on our last trip do you remember do you remember what happened to our luggage no you don't remember I don't remember <laughs> Landon was helping us he's very helpful he pushes our luggage for us he is really awesome at that but he pushed the luggage and he, it, just the way that he rolled it the wheel broke off of it. No, I, was, I was pushing it and then the wheel snapped off there you go the wheel snapped off so we ordered some new luggage that luggage has been with us for a long time though so it deserves to be retired so I we mean, got some new one didn't, didn't we buy that when we took one of our first trips to yeah Hawaii I think it was before Hawaii. I don't know. We've had it for a very long yeah. time, so it's gotten a lot of use out of it. So got some new stuff. I just ordered this off of Amazon. And this a new luggage. Too? It is a new luggage too. This is the one that I'm gonna bring today. Ooh. You wanna see it? Can yeah. you open this one really quick, babe? I wanna show them. Uh, You're gonna see if it says Disney on it. What do you think it is? <laughs> what do you think? It's good. It's good. Do you like it? Yeah. So this is gonna be ours. Look. At this! Oh, I'm so excited. I've been trying my best for a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just want to go my own way Yeah I'm on my way now 